Without objection, so ordered. Following the defeat of tyranny throughout Europe in 1945 and in the ashes of the Holocaust, the United Nations was born. It was formed to create a forum to confront dictators before they rose to global power. President John F. Kennedy, in his inaugural address, warned some four decades ago that the United Nations must not become a forum for invective against the West. But as we saw yesterday, with the leader of Libya decrying Israel in the terms of the Israeli demon, as we saw the leader of the discredited regime in Tehran denounce the, quote, barbaric attacks of the Zionist regime and continue to deny the Holocaust in public forums, we have seen the United Nations has become not only a forum for invective against the West, but especially a forum for invective against our most cherished ally, Israel. Today, the American people provide 20 percent of the financial support for the United Nations. And today, the American people are asking Gentleman's time's why. expired. Gentleman's time's expired. For what purpose, gentlelady from Pennsylvania, rise?